Well, g'day flatties and globe defenders, it's Critical Thing from Down Under. In this video, we're going to address a challenge from a flat earther to provide a particular proof. Sometimes these things are a little bit difficult, but it's a bit of fun anyway. We'll have to wait and see as to whether this particular piece of evidence is going to be sufficient or not. Not so long ago I did a video with an ISS transit and I can science that left this comment on that video. It says he's got a flat earther who has agreed that a video showing the sunset shot over the ocean with A zoom, B a proper solar filter and C in infrared would be proof that the sun does not shrink into the distance. And even though there's already plenty of proof that the sun does not shrink into the distance, in order to convince this particular flat earther, this is his requirements and uh, it's a little bit challenging and a little bit difficult. Um, perhaps the flat earther is thinking that uh, it would be impossible to do, but um, maybe not. Um, anyway, I've got a zoom camera with proper solar filter and an infrared, but there are difficulties. Um, for starters, um, I don't have access to a sunset shot over the ocean unless I travel to a different location, which I have done in the past, but I've never had a solar filter <coughs> or infrared uh, in the one spot to do that. And so I've got access to sunrise. And again, I've got a bit of a problem because to the east of me is Bribey Island and so it's difficult to get it over water and I don't want to travel um, many kilometres because most of the time there's cloud on the horizon and if I travel somewhere a long distance I will be disappointed many times but I've decided to give this a go anyway so here's my location so there's Bribey Island to the right there and I found a spot not too far away uh, on Brighton Beach. I've put as much water as I can between uh, my observation and the island because if you get down low enough you won't see parts of the island because they'll be over the curve and in the further south you can get the better because the island is is not very high towards the south but anyway I've taken this now this is I've started out with infrared only just so that I can see what's happening because with the solar filter on it's very difficult to make out features of that so this here Bribey Island <laughs> is to the right there it's early morning the water's warmer than the air. The, this, in general, these conditions result in an inferior mirage, which is a reflection off the water. So this part of the top part of the sun is the sun poking its, its head up over the horizon. Nearly always do this in the morning, there'll be an inferior mirage, and sometimes not. So we've got clouds on this particular morning there are it's very difficult to get a morning where there is no clouds and um, in this case I managed to get a spot where it is over water and, and not over the island and just like this this is another shot from the morning a different morning you can see that an inferior mirage can cause reflections off the water. It's nothing unusual and uh, the conditions are quite favourable for that in at dawn. So I started this video with infrared only. Uh, so like I said, I could see what was happening and then um, I put my filter on my solar filter and just remember that this here is still subject to an inferior mirage so that's only the uh, top part of that 
image is the real image, the bottom part is a mirage. You can see the water on the bottom there. Again, we've got to contend with a bit of cloud, which is showing on that top left. So also, it's very difficult to focus because before the sun's up, there's nothing much to focus on. So you have to try and focus when the, um, after the sun comes up. So I've taken a bit of a go here at focusing. I just wanted, I was just playing with the focus to see um, if I could get a clearer picture. So a little bit difficult. I'll see if I can get that better if I do this again. So here's another shot taken with some clouds obscuring the sun on that side and the inferior mirage and this one's infrared only as well when this wait for the sun to come up a little bit we can see the whole sun and you can see the island on either side here and the inferior mirage at the bottom and I've also taken a, a picture with my P1000 and uh, as you can see this, apart from the colours it's it's pretty much exactly the same so we've got solar filter infrared infrared only no no solar filter no infrared and you, you can tell if you've got a sharp outline on your sun then you're actually seeing the true shape of the sun now these cameras there's a there's several thousand miles of atmosphere between the camera and the sun that acts as a bit of a natural filter and also the camera itself has an automatic adjustment for the light levels so this allows to you to see the shape of the sun if you zoom in uh, without a solar filter or even infrared filter so it's pretty much the same and I've taken another observation uh, from a different location. I was trying to get beyond the edge of this island here, but I, I didn't quite make it. I still, there's island from this observation point, and uh, I may be able to get another observation point as we get towards the uh, summer solstice in the su in the northern hemisphere and the winter solstice in the southern sem southern hemisphere and I may be able to get a shot right across the water there but in this case it's shot across the island this is about two weeks later here's my video <laughs> very difficult to focus on something that's not there so again it's not quite focused but this is infrared and solar filtered and coming up over the island Apologies for the camera work. I was going to try and adjust the focus, but it uh, was difficult. And a little bit later, I zoom in, you can see a nice outline. The atmosphere is always going to 
cause a little bit of blurring on the edges, especially this morning when there was quite a mo bit of movement of air. So that makes a shimmering effect. Here's a picture I took with the normal camera and this is about this is not quite zoomed in enough to get a clear outline and the camera didn't cope with the high levels of light there was not much obstruction in terms of clouds or anything on this morning and here's an another video I'd taken of out across the ocean to the sunrise with a just using the natural atmospheric solar filter and as you can see there's a nice clear crisp outline uh, so there's the sun coming up Slight, very slight inferior mirage. So you don't need an infrared or a solar filter to see that the sun is a particular size. But because this flat earth asks for it, that's what we try to do. I've also captured uh, the sunrise not over ocean in this case but during a dust storm again another natural solar filter you can just see the shape of the sun there uh, very close to the horizon that's the first we saw of the sun that morning because of the huge amount of dust in the air and there's a close-up picture that you can actually measure the size of the sun from that which I did in in this particular video that I showed this <coughs> this event so there and uh, here's another natural solar filter event this is in Phuket so this is a sunset over water and the air is very smoky on this day so with the naked eye this is what you see and I've managed to capture it on camera it's a it's an amazing sunset and you can see the refraction causing a distortion in the shape of the Sun this is the various <coughs> refraction bands uh, they move, they are more horizontal than anything so which is normal it's a naturally filtered sun you can see the clear edges of it and you can see that it's not shrinking away into the distance So hopefully uh, this is enough to show uh, that particular flat earther that the sun doesn't shrink as it goes away. It's quite visible there, very easy to see. Plus we've got the infrared and solar filter footage, which I admit could be improved. But this one here is far better than that infrared and solar footage in my opinion. This is just amazing. Don't forget to like and subscribe.